Hey, what's going on guys? Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Travis Patel. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys a very simple process for setting up an important piece of your business and your brand, your business email. Now, when we're trying to brand, we're trying to get our name and our authority out there, it's very important that you have all the essential pieces that, that give the viewer and the potential customer that perception, at least, that you are a legitimate business. As long as you're hitting all those different check marks in their subconscious, then you are coming across as a more professional, more authority, a more trustworthy source, especially if they're gonna be giving you their money. And one of those very important pieces is our email. We wanna make sure that your brand name, your URL, your domain is the main section, the .com or whatever the last section of your email. For example, on kingpinning.com here, we wanna have our initial email be something like support at kingpinning.com or ours is set up help me at kingpinning.com. Com. That's how we get a, get a hold of us. So it's not gmail.com. It's not, you know, whatever other yahoo.com, whatever other email source out there. It's a legitimate business email. And this is very simple to do with Google G Suite here. And it only costs $5 a month to set this up. So very simple stuff. Um, as you can see, a 14 day trial. I'm going to walk you through that whole process here where we have 19th.com, our e commerce print on demand store, our general store. We're going to set that up with a 19th.com email, get that associated uh, and all that good stuff. Now, depending on the, the source of your domain, where you bought your domain, where you're hosting your site or whatnot, then the steps may be different, but Gmail and Google here has all of those walkthroughs for you. Luckily for us, Namecheap makes it very simple uh, to do. So let's go ahead and get started here on the Google G Suite. All right. Tell us about your business, business name. This one is 19th. Two to nine employees. We are located in the United States. Current address. We're we'll just go ahead and give my main MB3 Empire address. Does your business have a domain? Yes, I have one to use. This is we purchased the domain first from Namecheap, as you can see over here. Um, if you need one, you'll be able to go buy one right here. So yes, I have one I can use. What's your domain's, uh, your business's domain, 19th.com. Now, once we put that in there, it's gonna give us a few verification steps. And from there, we're off to the races. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use this domain to save your account. Yes, we want 19th.com. Next, first name. Um, we have our pen name. You can use your name if you'd like. This is who it's going to be coming from. And then we've got, we'll go with support at 19th.com. Our password. All right. Make sure we're not a robot. Agree and create. All right, we're created. Now we need to do our setup and we'll be done. We'll be able to email from this address. Um, <clears throat> we don't need a Google advisor. I'll go ahead and set up my own. It's very simple stuff. We've set up a business account. Now we need to add people to our G Suite. Um, we don't need to add any employees yet. We're just gonna have this support at 19. So I've added all user emails. <clears throat> now we need to verify. So there's a few different steps that we can take to verify. verify. Um, first off, it's gonna, it will tell you which hosting or which domain uh, account you're using so that you can go and, and see how to properly do all these steps, but I'll have it all listed here for you. We are logged into our Namecheap account here. Um, let's see, here's your detailed instructions for whichever domain, uh, whichever hosting account your domain is on. So you can see some of mine are on liquid web hosting. So we've gone in there and we need to follow the steps that they give listed here. Uh, Namecheap, uh, Namecheap here is luckily has a very simple automatic feature with Google. So we've opened our control panel. Here we are in our control panel. We need to go to advanced DNS settings. All right, so 
For typical hosting accounts, you're gonna to have to go in and create these MX records. Like I said, Namecheap has a simple integration. We just have to do one click, but these are very simple things. You can see in the host records here, you'd be able to add these MX records, just like they're labeled, to associate both together. So let's go ahead and uh, we don't need to create the MX records because we can go to mail settings here. And instead of email forwarding, I'm going to choose Gmail and this automatically configures all that. So I'm gonna save changes. Now I can go ahead and create, say I created these, we deleted those, I saved those. Now what we need to do next is, it might take a few hours for this to register. We'll click verify. Typically it won't be this quick. It might take 30 minutes to an hour and I'll come back and verify and everything should be good to go from there. Okay, here we go. I forgot this one step that popped up. We need to verify our domain. Um, there's lots of different ways. We can take this meta tag, add it into our coding on our website, or you can do these different ways where we can add a domain host record, just a text file, the same way we would with those MX records, um, or we can just upload an HTML file to our hosting. Now I'm just gonna take this meta tag with my Shopify store. On the right here, we have our theme area under online store. I'm gonna to go to edit HTML, and then in the theme liquid, in the header section, we wanna put it in this tag here. You can see there's the opening header, and this is the end of the header section, so we wanna make sure it's in that head section. Paste it right here, you can see it. All right, so we're gonna save that. And now, there we go. I added the meta tag to my homepage. Yes, we are good to go and verifying should work properly now. All right, domain verification and email setup complete. We're good to go. Set up at 19th dot, or support at 19th.com is uh, set up and ready to roll. Now we just need to choose which account we want. Again, you get a 14 day free trial, but we do need to set this up ASAP. I'm just gonna go with the G Suite Basic. Um, something simple, don't need all these extra things unless you're gonna, you know, we have the $10 version for the unlimited storage for our main, my main MB3 account. But just, just for one of our stores, I don't need the storage, I don't need all that. We're kind of churning through this. We want the brand recognition and we've got that set up. So guys, that is how you set up your business email. Very simple to do, but very important. G uh, Google is a great place to do that. There's lots of other sources out there, but you know just how simple Gmail and all those sources Sources are to to ha handle and manage and keep track of so that's why I like that um, so guys my name is Travis Patel if you have any questions or comments feel free to hit me up and go ahead and get that business email set up ASAP